to the media in the name of sources, which is absolutely, I would say, undesirable. And these issues should be addressed in the larger interest of a healthy coalition. This is not the way some sections use uh, the media for creating an unnecessary wedge between two old and very, I would say, reliable coalition partners. The Prime Minister, on receiving uh, Mr. Pawar's communication, did speak to him on the phone yesterday. And I would also like to state that met Mr. Sharad Pawar last night itself. This morning, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, the chairperson of the UPA, was also gracious enough to invite Mr. Pawar for a chat with her. And these same issues about the functioning of the government, the coalition, were discussed. We would like to state very emphatically that uh, the communication on these issues which was sent to the Prime Minister yesterday by Mr. Pawar was actually discussed in our party more than a couple of months ago. But since the presidential elections were around the corner, we again, I repeat, as a responsible ally of the UPA, did not wish to raise these issues prior to the presidential election being completed. And that is why, in the larger interest of the UPA coalition, we chose to only send our communication after voting ended at 5 p.m. yesterday. And I repeat that the NCP has been an integral part of the UPA from day one, and the U NCP continues to be an integral part of the UPA. The questions which Mr. Pawar has raised have been discussed at length by the Prime Minister and Mrs. Sonia Gandhi. What are the and all I can say at this stage is that the NCP's communication was arising out of a discussion within our core meet a couple of months ago. We are meeting again on Monday for further course of action. Let me also state very clearly that this issue of number two is being blown out of proportion only for the simple reason that Mr. Pawar, by virtue of his stature, enjoyed a position next to Mr. Pranam Mukherjee when he did not ask for it. And that was not given by virtue of the numbers of the NCP. NCP had numbers less. Even in UPA 1, the same numbers continued in UPA 2. And Mr. Sharad Pawar, in Parliament also sits, uh, sits right next to Mrs. Sonia Gandhi. Sits next to, or was sitting next to Mr. Pranam Mukherjee until he left government to become the nominee of the uh, UPA for the President's post. So the issues which are being raised here, on, or which are being fed wrongly that Mr. Pawar cannot get the number two slot by because the NCP is a small constituent and does not have the numbers, is something, I would say, very absurd, because by virtue of that same logic, Mr. Pawar should never have been sitting next to Mrs. Sonia Gandhi or should never have been sitting next to Mr. Pranam Mukherjee in the first place. His, his stature is far more, and I think the, uh, the Congress or the UPA leadership also realizes that Mr. Pawar brings much more to the table than just being sitting where he is. So this is absolutely rubbish. And Mr. Pawar is not such a petty leader to raise such a petty issue himself. In fact, I would say that those people who are raising these kind of issues in the media or within the government or who are trying to make it an issue are being petty themselves. I don't think we in the NCPO, Mr. Sharad Pawar, would be petty at all to make this an issue of our whether we continue in government or not.